Hello everyone, this is Bidabomb from the Linux Teach team and today we're going to be looking at a small comparison between uh, wget and curl um, they are both command line tools that can download contents from FTP, HTTP or HTTPS they are, both can send HTTP post requests and both support metalinks and they are both really free and open software but today I'll be looking at the differences between them and really looking at the critical ones and telling you which one I think is my favorite of the two alright so before starting to look at the bullet points and the specific differences between the both of them we'll start out by creating a test file and trying to get it from a machine to another machine so in this machine Kali Linux machine we have a uh, a shell here and another shell here and we're gonna open a third shell which will be the server and we'll start with python dash m which makes modules run as scripts and we'll use the module simple http server and we'll specify the port which is I want to host it on port 80 so we'll do that alright we're serving we're gonna minimize the server and we have here we'll use wget and here we'll use um, curl so first off we'll need to get my IP address which we'll get right now from another shell with ifconfig Alright, so we have here our IP. Alright, we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna say here um, wget, then the IP. Yep. And then we'll place a forward slash. And we really want um, to get a file here called exploit.txt which if we ls on the uh, desktop we will find it so we want to get this file so all we're doing is like the last video we're trying to get exploit.txt but this time we're gonna use curl so exploit.txt right so it's done here we're gonna use curl so curl dash o uh, capital o and then http colon double forward slashes and then my ip and then exploits dot text or exploit only one exploit right so all right so both outputs are a bit different but they both got the files pretty fast I, th I think curl was a bit faster uh, so yeah curl uh, you need a dash o to uh, download the exploit.txt if you want to move it to another place on the network wget you don't need the extension so let's look at the bullet points and the differences between each software package so I found here a really useful blog and that that explains everything uh, to you like the full list of differences but we'll be talking about the main ones which I think is that curl has a library which is uh, a lib curl a, a cross-platform library with a stable API that can be used by each and everyone and that curl basically supports many more uh, protocols than wget so for example here it says that it supports uh, gopher http and https and here's ftp with a dash s so it supports also the one with the s so scps ftp of course i don't know all of them 
but yeah it supports quite a lot of protocols so curl is pretty flexible and the third point I think is really important that is that curl comes pre-installed on Mac OS and Windows 10 while wget does not all right for wget wget is a command only tool and there is no library whatsoever however I think wget is really good and it competes with uh, curl because it has recursive downloads which you could basically download a whole directory or a file with all the resources everything with a single specified flag so yeah I think that is really important for a tool like wget and especially in penetration testing you if you need to download a big directory or something not a single exploit wget will be a perfect tool for you the second really good part about wget is that it doesn't require to add like like double uh, dash o for example here um not this one yeah so in wget we just wrote wget each specified the protocol http and then the ip and the loca location of the file however in curl we had to type dash o which a lot of new people could forget to for uh, to download this so i think uh, wget makes it a lot easier for new beginners to start downloading files from the network uh, all right so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this short comparison between both wget and curl if you want to get the full list of differences i'll leave this link below i think it's a really good source of knowledge so uh, there is nothing to lose if you like the video please press the like button if you didn't like it please do so and leave me the comments in the description box if you need any questions or anything and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye